What's up guys, it's the guest Gengar, and let's all get hyped for the new trailer that dropped today for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, this time I've seen nothing about it, um, the only thing I've heard is my friend saying that he thinks Pokemon Sun and Moon will affect the time of day and stuff, but I, I don't know, I don't know if that's from him watching the trailer or if that's just him speculating some more, but let's hop right into this, um, apparently it's new Pokemon again at this rate, I don't know how much information we're going to be getting by the time the game releases, because apparently there is a demo coming out of the game, so that might give away a lot, because last time a demo came out of like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, people data hacked the game, or data mined, whatever you want to call it, and they got basically a shit ton of info um, for all the Pokemon listings and stuff. But hopefully this time when we get to the release of Sun and Moon, we have some surprises. Um, I do want the demo of Sun and Moon if it does come out, but that's enough of that. Let's hop right in to, boom, this video. And let's play. Wait, Noel? Okay, no, we're starting off right off the bat and this is not okay. I mean, it's okay, I mean, what? <laughs> is that a new typing, or does that mean there is no typing? Ability battle armor. Wait, his type is null. He's a normal type, but his type is null. And he has ability battle armor. So does that mean they're just putting normal there to just, like... <sighs> I'm going to go to the website after this. It looks like a cool uh, Pokemon thing. What was that Tri-Beam? I uh, would just... There's no extra information about it whatsoever, and that is adorable. Jeng Mo. Jeng Mo O is a dragon type, bulletproof and soundproof. I don't know what the ability bulletproof does. I know soundproof makes it so all sound-based moves do not affect it. So I'm guessing that's like supersonic, uh, hyper voice, you know, stuff like that. And I feel like this is going to be the fossil Pokemon of the game, or one of the two. Usually there's two of them, or three. Um, there we can see the school form of that one Pokemon. Raticate now has an Alolian form, which, whoa. We were expecting Raticate to have an Alolian form because last uh, time we did a news, we did, we did a news. <laughs> last time we did news, uh, we found out there is an Alolian Rattata. Or Ratatana, Tatatana. Um, ability is Glutton and Hustle, Dark and Normal. Again, we saw that coming. Um, I mean, I like the design. I really don't know why I give, why they gave it fact cheeks, but it, it's definitely fitting. Pokemon Sun and Moon are set twelve hours apart. Oh, so I guess wait. So that means when it's day in my game is gonna be night in theirs. Certain events will play out differently. Wait, so... The mongoose I'll be facing in my game will be in a lowly and eradicate in theirs? I feel like they should have left this, like... as a secret or something. I'm choosing the Aether Foundation. There's four of them, and I'm guessing this is the quote-unquote Elite Four of our game? Okay, the Aether Glamorous President. I feel like this is some sort of anime now. Uh, I'll be like a mother to all the poor Pokemon and shower them with love. So I'm guessing this is the opposite team of Team Skull. Even Pokemon from distant worlds from far from a little in the region are worthy of my love. Faba. Um, he looks kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Uh, Aether Paradise, this is a vertical paradise for Pokemon that floats out in the surroundings. Okay, so this is the Aether Foundation, is the island in the middle of whatever. Um, we keep Pokemon from having target by Team Skull. Yeah, alright, so these are the opposite of Team Skull. Uh, I have to look at that open girl with the uh, glasses. I feel like it's more of like a mystery gang kind of thing. Gladion. 
Um, battle me, I'll take no answer. I mean, he just kind of looks like that edgy kid in middle school that always listened to Green Day extremely loud. Just to prove that he was edgy. You know, you can't beat me and get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. Um, search the lonely region for Zygarde cells and cores. I've made up my mind, all just is important. Wait. A cube. A Z I got this item gives you collecting the on Zygarde. That's really cool! Though I kind of wish they gave Zygarde, uh, cute, the Zygarde cells or whatever some, like, 3D animation instead of just looking at copying and pasting something from Photo Bucket. Um, taking photos as a snap with Pokefinder. Alright, so... I don't know if this means anytime we see a Pokemon, yeah, oh! Wait, you're gonna be able to play Pokemon Snap? <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty fucking sweet! Um, see, the only thing I wish it was like instead that you could just take screenshots in the game as well. Because so far in Pokemon Omega Ruby and X and Y, or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and X and Y, they have completely disabled any kind of screenshots to the game unless you have the homebrew channel enabled on your uh, game which means like I, I think the reasoning was because you know they wanted to make it so that no one can spoil the game for anyone else on Reverse. but I, I would really like to take screenshots and beautiful areas in the game just to like show that I was there and just like show a scene to other people who might not have the game to get them interested into the game but, I mean, I like the idea that they're kind of involving Pokemon Snap into this, so it's pr it's pretty cool. Maybe there's like a mini game that just falls around this. Uh, it definitely seems like, yeah, we are definitely using Rotom as our camera, even though we could just use a regular camera, but whatever. Wait, alright, this is actually pretty fucking cool. We'll be able to, well, are we able to catch certain Pokemon like that? The Mysterious Threat Ultra Beast? Ultra Beast. Oh, is that a Pokemon? Wait, what? Right then. So that was one hell of a thing. So I I, I gotta go check out the website now. I'll I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. And first off, we're gonna be talking about no. All right. So first, I'm gonna get rid of this logo here. Um, that way I could put some images up. Alright, so Null is of course the dog Pokemon that wears the mask. Um, so apparently its name is Null. It's a synthetic Pokemon, but I don't know why its name was Type Comma Null. Um, this Pokemon with wearing the mask has been dubbed N Null, meaning nothing. The shapes of its front hind legs are clearly different. The reason that Type Null was constructed, synthesizing the strengths of various Pokemon, enabling it to adapt to any situation. The mask filtered to Type Null's head is a piece of equipment designed to control its latent powers and extremely heavy, so also serves as hinder to Null's agility. Um, to complete a certain mission, there will be a need. Uh, there was a need of a certain powerful Pokemon enough to rival those Pokemon in spoke mythology. So, Null is a genetically made Pokemon that takes, I guess, various components of other Pokemon, or just whatever, and it's just, hopefully this thing gets an alternate mode where you get to take its mask off or something, because this looks pretty freaking sweet. I just, I, I'm just kind of blown away by this, and also there's no information on, uh, Ultimate Beast Zero One whatsoever. Um, I think that's the f second time they've ever named a Pokemon like that. Um, uh, um, I think the f yeah the first time was XD Zero Zero One, which was the Dark Lugia, which I, I still wish existed, like in like canon Pokemon games, I guess. Next is Jengmo. -Oh. 
which is a scaly Pokemon Dragon type. It's two hit all, and it has, of course, the abilities from Proof and Soundproof. Um, Jamango O has a pride of the warrior. Although it remains humble about its capabilities, in its pursuit it becomes stronger. It never neglects training. Um, because Jamango O uses the scales on its head for both offensive and defensive purposes, it never turns its back on its enemies. Many trainers see this behavior as taking proof that Jamango O is a valiant Pokemon. Jamango O is gathered in harsh locales like canyons where no other po people or Pokemon are around to live together as they train. Which I can understand, which means that if they don't have to worry about another Pokemon, like, sneaking up from behind them for, like, the avoid their scale and just kind of get a jump on them, I guess they're okay with it, and since Jamango O are valiant and, like, humble Pokemon, whatever, I I'm guessing that they don't usually attack each other, unless maybe they're starting a fight or something, but even then, that would still give them, uh, like, a reason to stare at each other, instead of having to do whatever, you know? And the next Pokemon is, uh, sadly, the last one we can go over, which is the Alolian Raticate. Um, it is the mouse Pokemon, whatever. Because the urban areas of the main habitat, their diet is higher in calories than ordinary Raticates as they become hefty. <laughs> the Lillian Raticate prefers to eat only fresh fruits and high class ingredients. There are rumors that a certain type of Notch restaurant takes advantage of the Lillian Raticate's buds by bringing it along whenever it chooses the ingredients to buy it having a taste in a new dish. That's actually extremely well thought out. Um, the Lillian Raticate continues to stop high huge amounts of food in their nest. They mostly prefer to send out a Lillian Rattata to group other out food while they themselves stay at home in the nest and just eat. The Lillian Eradicate is, is a totem Pokemon of the official trial that takes place on the Burning Cataract on Mele Mele Island. In Pokemon Moon, it summons a Rattata to help them. Gu uh, Gumshoes appears in totem Pokemon in the Burning Cave in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Or Sun. I still think it's pretty sick that they call the Pokemon Gumshoe. But that is really cool, though I am still sad that- oh wait, there are details on the Ultra Beast, holy shit. But I, I do think that's pretty cool, but let's start talking about the Mysterious Beast. Um, mysterious- uh, in Alolia regions, rumors are flying around that a mysterious creature known as Ultra Beasts. Ultra Beasts possess mighty powers that they can use to possess- uh, that they can use to pose a touch to humans and Pokemon so they're feared. It appears that the Aether Foundation is also conducting research on Ultra Beasts. According to the rumor, multiple Ultra Beasts exist from them called by code name. Um, Ultra Beast 01 its body is composed of a glass like substance, however, it's constantly changing shapes, never settling with one. The evidence is something like survival instinct, but, the obs uh, but can instinct can observe UP 01. No one knows whether that has its own emotions. It's said that for some reason the government resembles them, resembles those of a young girl. So, I don't know if these are legendary Pokemon, or what, that's just wild, I mean, honestly, like, maybe Pokemon, or maybe the Team Skull is doing some weird cross hybration, or hybri hy hybriding, whatever you want to call it, with humans and Pokemon, like, maybe, I, I don't, actually, Top of the head looks a lot like sunglass, like a sun hat. And now I'm thinking maybe that looks like Professor Kukui's research like helper. Actually, it might be. Since we've known that there's a lot of um references to alchemy in this game, I have a feeling that there's gonna be some alchemy using human human transmogu transmutation. I was gonna use transmog, whatever the fuck. Um, but maybe Professor Kukui's mysterious, uh, like, assistant, which if they didn't put mysterious in, there'd be no questions that, like, this was the same thing. But maybe someone transmogified a jellificent or something? Or maybe there are just regular jellyfish, I don't know. And her, at some point, into a single Pokemon? And... You know, the only reason I'm thinking is because it says its movements resemble those of a young girl. But, I don't know. So, I, I'm gonna keep thinking of a theory about this Ultra Beast, or End Null. Um, so, I'll probably be making a video on that sometime in the future. But, until next time, I hope you all have a great time. Leave a like, 
subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to see my playthrough of Pokemon Glaze. I also completed a playthrough of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire in a Soul Link fashion with my good friend Mikey 2A2. And yeah, leave a comment down below of what you think might be happening with uh, Ultra Beasts. Um, it says there are multiples and that they are all different. So maybe these are legendary Pokemon, maybe these are also like Pokemon-human hybrids, um, but we have no clue until knowing it. Also, if you have any ideas about type Null, I would like to hear those too because he looks like a very interesting Pokemon and I feel like a lot of secrets are going to come along with him. So until next time, bye bye